What is up guys? Welcome to another exciting episode of Booster Rides and Power Slides and today we're going to be working on my buddy Alex 2014 Focus ST and we're going to be putting some springs on it. Isn't that right Alec? Yes sir. Monton Sport Lowering Springs. Let's get it done. Let's get it. Before we get into this, let's get the most important thing out of the way for installing coilovers or springs or anything like that. Do you know what that is, Alec? The before shot? The before shot. Hey. Let's do it. All right, Alec. So tell us about your springs. Well, we got the uh, the Mountain Focus MK3 yeah. sport springs here. Uh, it's gonna give you just a little, little bit lowering, better control, a little lower center of gravity. It's gonna bring the front down by about an inch, and the rear looking to go down about an inch and a half or so, right in that specification. Uh, it's not gonna put it too low where it's slammed, but it's gonna give us a nice good, nice good sport look. Hopefully, to make the car look a little bit better for us today too. Slammed is what we're going for, right, Alec? We're gonna be there eventually. Baby <laughs> steps first. Alright guys, as there aren't very many ST videos out there, this is probably gonna be a more in-depth, detailed video of how to put the springs in for the ST, as there, like I said, aren't very many videos. So hopefully this should help. Some of you guys out there, if you're looking to put lowering springs on your ST. And disclaimer, if you guys haven't already learned anything already, don't start working on your car in your nice clothes. Make sure it's something you don't care about. All right, guys, so we have the rear wheels off back here. And so what we're going to be doing is you're going to find on the bottom of the knuckle what we're going to be trying to do right here where the sway bar connects to the A-arm and the knuckle. Is there's a bolt right here. This is the end of the bolt. It's kind of hard to shoot the face of the bolt, but there's a bolt right here So this is the easiest thing to find. This is where your a-arm connects Or your lower control arm, whatever connects to this knuckle So what we're gonna be doing is taking this bolt out right here This one we're gonna have a jack right here and we're gonna slowly lower this so that the spring can come out but before we do that we're gonna that's going to be like the last step that we take. We're going to take off the four bolts for the sway bar, which I'll show you more. And then there's a bolt back here where you adjust the camber where the, the lower control arm gets connected to the subframe. We'll loosen that so that this A-arm will have more range of motion so that we can pull that spring out. Awesome. So you guys get the basic uh, idea. So we're under here. Here are the two bolts for the sway bar. And there's two more bolts over here. We're going to just disconnect both of these. Um so that we can have a little bit more range of motion. I don't, I'm gonna say this right now, I don't believe we need to do that. I'm not gonna take the chance and not take them off, but normally you do need to take off the sway bar in the rear so that you can um, get some more motion on this con uh, control arm when it comes down. But yeah, so Alec, how are we doing this? We're going for the rear first, why? Well, I wanna get the easy stuff out of the way, how about when you get to the front and do all the hard stuff, as soon as you're done, you can just clean up, go inside and chow. That's right. Get the easy stuff done first, then the hard stuff. So all you have to do when you're done is clean up and then go inside. Simple as that. So what size bolt is that, Alec? It's a 13 millimeter. It's a 13 millimeter for the sway bar. So we got the sway bar down. Now we're going to move on to the bolt where the knuckle is. That's the bolt right there that I'm talking about. Yeah, that one. So I know I said we're going to move to the bolt where the knuckle is, but I lied. We're going to move to the bolt right here. We're going to loosen that, not take it off, loosen it. That's it. That's the key, is to have it loose, not off. So this is a 15 millimeter bolt. Got that bolt out. Now it's time to just uh, lower the jack. All right. So to put. 
put on the new spring, you want to take this little rubber grommet, it's like the spring seat. You want to install that on the, the new spring. This will be on the old spring, it'll probably fall out. Ours just fell out. And then you're gonna just put it back in the way that it goes. These, uh, these springs, they have like these little, uh, see pigtails at the end? They will have seats for that inside the lower control arm Here's as well as the ribbon. Yeah, there you go. Cool. Now you just install that on both of these, these ends, just like that, so that they sit in there nice. And when you put that in the control arm, it should be all set to go. It should have like a little thingy on the bottom. Little nipple? Yeah, the little nipple. Guide pin? Yep, and it should guide it right into the spot. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna jack up that control arm now and this side's gonna be done. That's one spring in. We're gonna torque that to 85. And uh, that's how you do it. Now you just reciprocate that on the other side. you gotta do is everything in reverse. We gotta tighten up the camber bolt, uh, put the sway bar back on, drop the car down, and we're all set to go. Now we can start working on the front. The moment of truth. Embarrassing, that'll be edited. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta drive it for it to settle. Yeah. It always looks like it's higher than it was before when you jack it up and then you roll it. And you're like, dang, told you coils, man. Yeah, it's all right. So he took it around the block so that, to make it settle. And this sat a lot as soon as he springs to settle in, like even just down the driveway. You're cool. Yeah. You're gonna be surprised. All right, so Alec, now what are we doing? Well, now we're gonna get the, uh, the, up, the front struts off, get the springs put on there with our trusty spring compressor, courtesy of AutoZone. Uh, there's a couple things that we wanna stress for the guys who are trying to doing, who are gonna be doing springs, or maybe even coils too. There's some vent guards right here on the top on both sides. Gotta remove those vents in order to get to the strut bolts that are for your bracket. It's also this plastic here is gonna be coming off. Now, your windshield wipers need to come off as well. One thing you may or may not have noticed is you've got these little rubber caps over the bolts. Pull them off, unbolt it, everything comes off. You yeah. just need a hex key for that. Make everything a lot easier. Now you're not stressing about losing bolts underneath there as well. All right, guys, I know it's a little bit bright, bright and overexposed on this side. But I'm going to show you guys what you need to do here. This is kind of like a Mazda 3, if any of you guys have chain springs on a Mazda 3. So this is going to be your brake line right here. There's going to be a bolt right here that you need to loosen to get this brake line off. Then the sway bar is right here. It has a little Allen key. You need to hold the Allen key right here and then wrench this stuff off. Because you don't want to twist the bolt inside the sway bar because it has a bushing behind this and you don't want to ruin that. And then there's a speed sensor clip right here, which we already pulled out. You could literally just pull that out. But this is the biggest thing. Like on a on a regular style strut, I'm gonna say a McPherson style strut. This is still a McPherson style strut, but I don't know what kind of mount this is. Like a normal mount. This is what I'm talking about. That's like the Mazda. So this, you're literally gonna have to take out the bolt that's uh, right here. The head of the bolt is on the other side. I'll show you. Uh, yeah, right here. And then once you get that bolt out, you're going to literally, I know this is gonna sound crappy and a lot of people are gonna be against this, but you're gonna need to hammer this out. No if, ands, or buts. It's not gonna slide out easily or gracefully. You're gonna to need to manipulate that and have a lot of persuasion with that. So you're gonna to need to take a, if you don't wanna dent this up, a big piece of wood right here, like a, like a two by four, and then smash it with a sledgehammer. That's a, pretty much as graceful as it's gonna get. And then that's, once that comes out, there's the three bolts on the top like any other spring or strut that you'll take out. We'll obviously show you guys that as well, but that's uh, that's the plan of attack. We'll show you guys that step by step. There you go. So the biggest problem we had is when we were getting this sway bar end link out of right here. Obviously there is an Allen key right here, but we couldn't twist this off and there's no position on the back. But you see this right here, it's really hard to see, but this piece that I have my fingers around, it's, this is shaped for a 17 millimeter socket or crescent wrench, which is, or crescent wrench is what you're gonna need to use. And you put it around here. I know it doesn't look like there's enough space behind there for the crescent wrench, but there is. You put it behind here, and then you literally just whip this bolt off, and that's literally what we were struggling with for like maybe 15 to 30 minutes. That's what we're working on taking out right now, that bolt, that's what connects the 
the knuckle to the strut right here, back here. So we're going to take that off. We're going to hammer this whole knuckle off right there. This whole thing should come down, and then we can take out the bolt from the top. All right, so we took the bolt out already, and we're going to lower the jack. And I'm hoping this just falls out like butter, but I know it's not because we're going to have to hammer that out. But let's, uh, fingers crossed. Yeah, jack's down. It's not out. It's not out. Dang it. So you're going to have to hammer that. All right, so to get this down, it's a pain in the butt. So you have to freaking put a socket like, or put the screw back in this reverse how um, it should be like opposite of how it should be you put a plate in the back right here let me try and see that plate right there yeah see that that metal plate that we put in here so that you can widen the forks in the back now what we're doing is uh, we're loosening the nuts at the top and this should fall down and then we'll maneuver it out after um, a lot of Fucking manipulation <laughs> But so the way that these strut towers work or strut it's not strut tower the way that these spring and strut combinations work is they have an allen key at the top that you gotta wedge in there and then after you do that you gotta use it's a well, six millimeter allen yeah you gotta put the 18 millimeter socket on the top you put the allen wrench in the back like this and you break it you, you want me to get it there yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, there you go. You get it in like that. You hold this. You break this at the top because you don't want the, the like dampener on the inside to be spinning, which is uh, screwed onto that because then your your thing will be wrecked. Don't so about the boot you color. also do one. Yeah, the boot thing. Okay, the boot is also connected right here. If you try and rip this off at the top, this will all come apart. And there's a ball and spring packet at the top. That if this comes off, it will get wrecked. They'll go everywhere. This whole thing will now be useless and you need to get a new one. So don't do that. Unhook it from the bottom. See how we can see, you can see the blue thing. It's not very hard. You can just disconnect it by, with your fingers. Um, as well as you need spring compressors. These bad boys to uh, go on the sides of these things. You'll, you'll see when we put it on there. But yeah, you don't want to die. Right, Alec? Uh, I'd prefer life over death any day of the week. Yeah, so you don't want to die by a rocket launcher spring. Right, Eli? Yep. Well, you are way too overexposed. But he lies <laughs> over there, and uh, he doesn't want to die by a rocket launcher spring either. We have the, the spring back together with the lowering spring on it. What, what are these called again? The Montoon Sport. So we have the Montoon Sport springs fully installed on this strut. And now we on the do, rears. And on the rears. But we're going to go ahead and put this one back up and then we're going to reciprocate everything that we did to this side on the other side. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Right Let's on. get this done and get the finished product for you guys. Let's do yeah. it. Yeah. What do I want? Bro, honestly, I want one of these. Not two those, what do you want? Oh. Ice tickle's where it's at. The ice tickle? Ice, yep. Ice tickle. Honestly, you can't work on cars without getting ice cream from the ice cream man. In December, bro, California. That's not, in December, in California, we got the ice cream man out here. That's like 85 degrees. Probably hotter than that, what is it? So how do you feel about the drop? Looks good. Feels in the, the fender was a lot better. It performs pretty good too. It's got a lot more stability. I feel like it responds a little bit better. Just gotta get it in the line so it can be tuned in. But I'm satisfied. Definitely. I think it looks good. How'd you like uh, the install? That could have used a little bit more work. The install could have been way better. 
Yeah, it could have gone a lot smoother. Could have taken us a lot less time. Yeah. But it's done. All right, Alec, car is done. Car is done. Looking sick. Looks great, handles great. How was the day? Long, fun, now it's time to go to sleep. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. When I was filming the outro with Alec, uh, the camera battery died. So now we're back here at home, but if you guys liked this video and you enjoyed watching us work on Alec's focus, smash that like button. So if you think we're idiots and we don't know how to work on the car, let us know in the comments down below. Subscribe for more content. I know this isn't about the Genesis, but there's a lot of Genesis content coming out very soon. Clinch sent me a very special care package, and it is going to be insane. So, be on the lookout for that. And, we'll catch you guys next time. We out.